Tonight, join Kate Langbrook, Glenn Robbins, Santo Gilaro, Michaela Banis and Sam Fang as we test their knowledge of the week's events on Have You Been Paying Attention? And now, here's your host, Tom Gleisner. Good evening. Thanks for joining us this Monday, August 18. Before we dive into questions, a quick apology. On last week's show, I made certain comments that could have offended some of our poorer viewers. I now acknowledge that people from lower socio-economic backgrounds do in fact use deodorant. OK, that's behind us. We can move on. It's been another busy week and we've enlisted the help of some very switched on news watchers to help us comb back through events of the past seven days, including a woman who just recently celebrated a birthday, the fabulous Kate Langbrook. Yay! Back for another tilt at glory, it's bon vivant Glenn Robbins. Bon <laughs> Making his show debut, writer, presenter, and would be professional wrestler, Mr. Santo Chilato. <laughs> also, making her debut from one of McLeod's daughters to an upper middle bogan, please welcome Michaela Bannis. <laughs> and finally, a man just back from Thailand where he oh, was attempting yeah. unsuccessfully to buy his own surrogate parents, <laughs> Mr. Sam Pang. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Michaela, lovely to have you on board and congratulations on Upper Middle Bogan. Thank you. You play Glenn's daughter? Yes. yes. Amber. Yes. What's Amber. it like working with the, uh, with the great man? Oh. <laughs> yeah. A little bit handsy. Is that right? <laughs> Michaela, of course, we wanted to make sure that we were up to speed with your career, so we logged on to your website, michaelabannister.net. Oh, dear God. Oh. Uh, last updated, October 2009. <laughs> If there, are any, uh, if there are any questions, it's from 2009 tonight, though. She's all She's over it. Standing by. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Santa, also welcome for the Thank first you. time. Um, yep. You feel you're, um, you're confident with all the news? Tom, there isn't a newspaper and website that I haven't scoured so that uh, I would be fully informed. So, provided all your questions are about the opening round of the EPL, okay. then yeah. uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine tonight. <laughs> all right. I think we... Yes, Sam. I'm ready for some questions, Tommy. <laughs> I think our audience is going, okay, hands on buzzers, let's get this quiz started. What three countries did Prime Minister Tony Abbott visit this week? Michaela. The United Arab Emirates. Wow, that's um, a hard one, yes. The UK and... The, uh, never, no, Netherlands. Never, never look at Netherlands. Me Netherlands. <laughs> never look at Sam Bell. Oh, we're going to pay that, you're on the board, well done, you. Yeah. The, uh, the Prime Minister caught up with British Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond. Take a look. Mr Abbott said that at this point... Who is the uh, other gentleman in that picture, Glenn? That's Rolf Harris on day leave. <laughs> no, it's not. I can, uh, I can, can safely assure you. You can tell by the uh, electronic anklet that he's got. He's a person politically connected with, uh, with our Prime Minister. Uh, oh. Glenn. Uh, Downer. Alexander Downer, yes, who's our yes, High Commissioner wow. to London. He was just busking on the steps as the two of them arrived, so good on you, Alexander. On Thursday, the Prime Minister spoke with Australian troops. This is a difficult and dangerous part of the world. Where is he talking about? Sam? It's the uh, Essendon Football Club medical room. <laughs> A little further afield. Tommy, can I just say, uh, I will apologise, because uh, Paul Chapman is here tonight from the Essendon Football Club. But that's all right, you weren't there for all that stuff, were you? No, I wasn't. If I, well, everyone says that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but great to have you here, Paul. Welcome, Paul, indeed. We've established that it was not AFL-related. It was a little further overseas. I would say Iraq, Tom. I'd say northern yeah. Iraq, but we will pay that. Santo. According to Joe Hockey, poor people don't watch. Santo. Matter. Uh, <laughs> I would so like to pay that one. Clint. Drive cars and like him very much. Well, it's the first part, drive, or if they do, not very far. Clint. I'll pay that. On radio during the week, Joe Hockey said this. It's a terrible habit that I've, I've, I've done it since, you know, since I was 16 years of age. Oh. A terrible habit, but I've done it since I was 16 years of age. Sam. Every, I know this, every Thursday morning for breakfast, he takes off his shirt and he eats a bucket of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's equally unhealthy, if that's a clue. Oh. Michaela. I'm pretty sure it's smoking cigars. Pretty sure you're correct, wow. Michaela. After the chicken. From 16, no. after the chicken. After the chicken. Chicken unrelated. <laughs> Tell me, what are we looking at here? 
satire. Uh, dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> A piece of cake that Chris Pine won't get a bit of. <laughs> I think we can safely say it was Christopher Pine's birthday, Sam. It's a, it's a Jenny Craig before and after shot. <laughs> I don't think we can get anywhere with this one. Worst Sam. bucks day ever. Okay. <laughs> I'll put you all out of your misery. Christopher Pine meeting with Clive Palmer to discuss university fees. Uh, it's been a busy week for Clive, announcing policies, meeting with the government and creating new words. We don't just want education for the rich and wealthy, we want it for all Australians, regardless of their background, their race or their ethnicity. Ethnicity? <laughs> <laughs> it's close enough. This convoy of Russian trucks has arrived at the Ukrainian border. What are they carrying? No. Sam. Uh, unsold uh, Russell Coit DVDs. <laughs> That's... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You are looking at the creator of Russell Coit and you're looking at the actor that played Russell Coit. Wow. And sure, a few went unsold. <laughs> uh, let's assume it's not Coit related. Can anyone tell me what's in the truck? Santo. Aid. Santo, I'll pay that. What is flying off the shelves at Moscow department stores? Glenn. Comedy Company DVDs. <laughs> um, the Comedy Company's just been released over there and I'm known as Uncle Vladimir. Um, I think we can rule out it's a uh, DVD of any form, but it's a novelty item. Yeah. Michaela, please help us. Um, believe it or not, it's T-shirts with pictures of Vladimir Putin on them. Yes. Oh. Edward Snowden appeared on the latest cover of Wired magazine, holding what? Glenn, was it a, a flag or something? Was he wrapped in a flag, holding a flag, an American flag? Giving an answer or asking no, a question? I'm, I'm going to say, Eddie, lock in C, holding an American flag. I'm going to say you're absolutely correct. Well done, Glenn. <laughs> Rolf Harris has been given a prison occupation. What is it? Oh. Glenn. Preparing Cliff Richard's room. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little paint. I think we can safely say <laughs> Sam. Now he's he's <laughs> ready. <laughs> Please, Sam. He's the gardener. Sam, how did you know that? Oh. Well, I don't look so surprised. I'm, just... <laughs> I'm surprised. This image has had to be removed from where? Haiti. Ah, uh, sadly, my husband's computer. <laughs> The, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. OK. <laughs> that, 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 is one of, follow this story, that is one of Michelangelo's better works <laughs> that will never be seen. It would have been so popular, Santo. Yeah. Sam, yeah. please help us. Queensland show, Ecker. Ecker. The Ecker. It's the Riptide ride yeah, and it was right. deemed not suitable for young kiddies. Oh. Right. Tell me, why did the Pope tweet this? <laughs> True, it came from the Pope, Sam. He's drunk. Okay. <laughs> We've all done it. Clint. He's ordering Korean takeaway. Oh. <laughs> no, I can actually You're narrowing in on the, on the I, can all, I can read it if you like. Wow. Please, what's it say, Glenn? Oh. A hot pot. Um. <laughs> You're close yeah. with Korea, if that's a clue for anyone. Uh, Sam? He arrived in South Korea, Tom. Into South Korea. One million South Koreans gathered in Seoul on Saturday for what special event? Santa. He, he's going to be celebrating mass Gangnam style. <laughs> Bring the kids in. Oh, I don't see that. I'd fly up there to see it's that. The, it's the city to soul fun run. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Just think we're oh, circling, circling the issue <laughs> here. Good. Uh, Sandra, you're actually close, yeah. but I can't pay. An open air mass yeah. right. conducted by yeah. the Pope himself. The Pope has surprised many by choosing to travel around South Korea in what? Oh, Katie. A dress. <laughs> oh, the papal robes, no, Glenn? Kia, Kia. A Kia. A Kia. Instead yeah. of the normal yeah. Pope, the bill there yeah. is there. Yeah. <laughs> Heading off. Oh, that's nice. Anglican Archbishop Philip Freyer has been given the church's highest honour. What is it? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> no. no. Is it immunity? <laughs> See that, that ring around his neck, that's actually electronic. <laughs> no, it's not. He has been uh, appointed Anglican Primate of Australia. We've got to take a break. When we return, the world of show business up on the block.
big week in the world that we select was the final call for reality TV. And there's more of it to come right now as we prepare for... Yeah. <laughs> wow. Who declared on the weekend, quote, I am not a sex fiend? <laughs> Sam. Cliff Richard? Sir Cliff Richard, Sir. but I'll pay well, that. We'll Sam. see for how long he'd stay, exactly. Sir. <laughs> this New York cop made news during the week after being caught staring at what? <laughs> Michaela. I actually, I've seen this picture. He's looking at Kim Kardashian's magnificent ass. <laughs> how could you take your eyes away from it? <laughs> Downton Abbey Series 5 publicity shot. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Kate. Well, Tom, there happens to be a plastic water bottle on the mantelpiece next oh. to the large yeah. black jug. And you're telling me that's not early 19th mm -hmm. century period? I don't uh, believe it. It be authentic. They didn't have water back then, they just had sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this month's cover of Harper's Bazaar. The model has a famous grandmother. Who is it? Mm. <laughs> Michaela. Um... Uh, Audrey Hepburn is her grandmother. That's Emma Ferrer. Gee, well you got two get double wow. points. Wow. Should get double points. Do I get double points? No, but you'll get the ten points no, for the Audrey should. Hepburn. Go on. What's her name? <laughs> Emma Emma Ferrer. Yeah, right. You can have double well, points. Yes. Well done, okay. why, why I, she, I hate to protest, but it says Emma Ferrer down the bottom of the. Oh, <laughs> The magazine is called, um... <laughs> Bazaar. <laughs> Bazaar. <laughs> Sam, and I can tell you what the issue is about, too. Thank you. <laughs> Lauren Bacall died this week. She was responsible for one of the most famous lines in Hollywood history. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? What comes next, Kate? You just put your lips together and blow. Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren... <laughs> Lauren Langdon. Let's have a look just to make sure you've got you got it right. Put your lips together and blow. Wow. Oh, you know what, Kate? You, when she does it, it's sexy. When you do it, it's kind of confusing and slightly <laughs> bizarre. Be nice. No, I'm Be just being nice. Honest. At least I'm in colour. She's in black and white. Right, right. She, she does it good. <laughs> you do it weird. So do I, mate. <laughs> Ten points to you. What event? Why don't you guys buzz in and go? She does do it good. <laughs> Just... Sam. Next question, Tom. <laughs> Exciting news in Ramsey Street. Neighbours have cast their first ever. <gasps> yes. No. A person of Aboriginal ethnicity. <laughs> Is that right? Quite correct. Yes. Yes. Main Wyatt will Main. be joining Ramsey Street. Let's talk Bachelor. Yes, Kate. let's. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I want you to take a look at Sam. <laughs> Why is she so excited, Kate? Because she was waiting for the date and she finally got the date. Got and it made the cray cray Canadian Amber really angry and have a meltdown. <laughs> was double happiness. Absolutely correct. She got chosen to go on a single date. Mm -hmm. During their date, they shared what? <laughs> Kate, you saw it shortly. They shared uh, a banana split mm -hmm. oh, with a seat in a car at a drive-in. But the special bit they shared re relating to the banana split oh, was? The spoon. <laughs> they spoon <laughs> fed each look. other. It was they agonising. Spoon. Oh, yes. Who failed to get a rose? <laughs> Glenn. One of the ugly ones. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Yeah. Am I wrong? You are wrong, man. It was Katie. Osher Gunsberg, and he was Devo. <laughs> <laughs> you know who it was? I reckon. Was she an air hostess? And her name, this is scary that I know, was her name Lauren, and she was an air hostess? Her name was Lauren. Glenn. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> Bachelor highlight for me uh, was Jess, who was given the job of reading out who got to go on the group date. Oh, yes. Important task, and she handled it with great objectivity. Chantel. <laughs> Anita. Myself. I think I'm in love with Jess. James Cameron has said he's nearly finished the scripts for what new movies? <laughs> Sam. I think it's Porky's 5 and 6. <laughs> One of his more successful uh, 
outings. A lot of people knew what Porky's was, though. Clearly. <laughs> it's Avatar 2, 3 and 4. Oh, dear oh, God. Ready to roll them out? There you go. Oh, great. Take a look at Courtney Love on stage in Adelaide the other night. Do not do it again! Oh, don't what? do what? Wow. She wasn't happy. Wasn't happy. Sam? Ask for an encore. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect a few people would agree. Uh, it was a moment, Katie. Someone pegged a beer at her. Someone threw a beer mm. at her. Mm. Mm. There was correct. a time she would have loved she that. Would have loved that. Yeah. Okay, time now to bring back one of our earliest segments, our lighting department. Well, they've had three months to work on a new intro. They're excited. I'm excited. Yes, it's time to drill down. Oh. <laughs> Our subject this week is the greatly missed comic actor Robin Williams. A lot of tributes. Let's see who's been paying attention. What movie did Robin Williams win an Academy Award for, Kate? Goodwill Hunting. Yes, supporting actor. Name the three other films he received an Oscar nomination for. Michaela, I'll give you ten points for each one you get. Uh, Dead Poet Society. Ten points. Oh, Fisher buzz? King. Yes, ten points. One and of, one of three for um, three. Um, um, no, not Flubber. I've got Good Morning Vietnam. Am 30 right? points to Michaela, ladies and gentlemen. In which TV sitcom did he first appear as the alien Mork? Oh, Les. Happy Days. Yeah. You'd be absolutely correct. Mork made the appearance. Can I just say, Happy Days was the first show that I ever saw in colour. Right? And I don't have it. I thought that might have been interesting for some of the old viewers. <laughs> Tell me, what was Mork's catchphrase? Oh. Michaela. Nanu, nanu. All right, I'll give you the character's role. You give me the movie. Oh. He played a teacher in... Michaela. Dead Poet Society. A psychiatrist in... Kate. Goodwill Hunting. A housekeeper. Kate. Mrs. Don't Fair. <laughs> no accents required. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> a doctor. Sam. Patch Adams. A genie. Michaela. Aladdin. A DJ? Katie? Ah, uh, Good Morning Vietnam. Oh, this is a bit bleak. A serial killer. Michaela. One hour photo. Oh, no, mm. not in the title. Sam. Oh, I was going to say insomnia. You'd be oh. correct. Finally, a US president. Michaela. Yep. <laughs> oh, man of the year. Man of, man of the year. No, it's a mm. Night at the Museum oh, what? series. Oh, yeah. And that yeah. brings us to the end of Drill Down. Questions of the break. What did theatres throughout Broadway do on Wednesday night in memory of Robin Williams? The answer's next. We're back and the answer to our question what did theatres throughout Broadway do on Wednesday night in memory of Robin Williams? They turned out their lights in their, their foyers and porticos. A nice tribute. Okay, we're now at the part of the show where we look at people who have spent the week running, kicking, throwing, sweating, or just endorsing products they'll never use. Yes, it's time for... <laughs> on Saturday night, Australia drew with New Zealand in what event? Michaela. Uh, I'm a Kiwi, so I know that it was 12-12 in the Bledisloe Cup. Mm. Correct. The Women's <laughs> Rugby World Cup final was played this morning between England and... Oh. Glenn. Canada. How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it was women playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kate. You've explained that beautifully. <laughs> Dustin Fletcher, the AFL's oldest player, will not take the field again this season. Oh. Oh. What, Glenn? Uh, because of either that or that, Tom. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's hurt his finger and he has to get a finger operation. No? Uh, I'll no. play that. A dislocated oh. finger. Well, I tell you what, it's a pretty bad finger. It'd be if they've removed his whole arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a serious <laughs> But I will play that, Glenn. A dislocated finger. Good news for Bernard Tomic. He's just been given what? Uh, Sam? A drink card. <laughs> okay. That's been issued many a year ago. Sorry. Can anyone follow Bernard? Uh, he's... So, uh, he, yes. I know. Here's Glenn, when you say when you when you know yeah. you need the bars not just raise your hands. We're not... <laughs> sir, sir, sir. Think Santa has the floor. He's been allowed to uh, even though he's not ranked high enough, he can play in the US Open. That'd be a wild card? That oh that would be a wild card. <laughs> so it's a, a little bit like a drinker, but it's <laughs> a wild card. <laughs> wild card. The EPL kicked off this weekend. Yes, Manchester it did. indeed. Manchester United <laughs> opened their season yes. with a new manager, Louis Van Gaal. Mm -hmm. How did he go? 
Badly, he very, very badly. Lost they, to... they lost to Swansea 2-1. Uh, Take a look at this free kick from the West Ham United Tottenham match. What was unusual about it? Oh, well. Michaela. <laughs> 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 He just looked like some random dude, not even a team player. Absolutely Does correct. Does that make sense? Yeah. Why am I speaking in a really hard <laughs> time? <laughs> Man United's manager wasn't the only one to have a bad start to the season. Uh, Man U's Ashley Young actually opened his mouth just as a seagull passed over. Oh, I've your eyes now. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Yeah. It's just... Oh, that's just wrong. Hey. You just put your lips together. <laughs> <you>? <laughs> Keep them together is the lesson. The German Super Cup was won by Borussia Dortmund. Take a look at this goal. Right, tell me what happened next involving the gentleman who kicked the goal, Santo. That guy who's got a very hard name to pronounce pulled a Spider Man mask out of his uh, sock and put it over his head. Let's oh. see if you're correct, Santo. Yeah. It's his nickname. No, no, he was performing a robbery on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, who is this gentleman? Michaela. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless well, you're the Argentina. That's the new Argentinian coach. Oh, wow. That's the new Argentinian Argentina. coach. Awesome news. Oh, what a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you hate sport? No, no, I know that Argentina, you don't want to be the person that takes over. I love sport, mate. You know what? It takes my husband out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Good to hear. What is Cristiano Ronaldo promoting here? It's actually a product, a Japanese ad, in case you haven't guessed. Anyone that, that, that looks like a selfie stick, Tom. It's not a selfie no? stick. Anyone seen this one? It's bizarre. It's a face exercise. So take a look. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> what? <Wow. laughs> the Japanese just invent products that no one oh. needs. So, Katie. You just put your lipstick on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kate, this will get you back in the game. Really? The fifth test between England and India oh, kicked Jesus. off on Friday. Where is it being played? <laughs> Kate. The Oval. <laughs> That's extraordinary. Wow. You get the ten points. Yeah. 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 Shane Watson's been ruled out of this month's tour of Zimbabwe due to what? Glenn. He, um... Twisted his ankle, I think. Sprained his ankle. Uh, he rolled it on a on a ball. Stepped oh, on a ball. It was really? one of Michael Clark's balls. And um, <laughs> then I'll stop you there before we can't use the rest well, of the back to blank. Sprained anyway. ankle. F wow. one salary. Sebastian Vettel gets paid thirty one million dollars per year. What does his teammate Daniel Ricciardo get? Sam. Twelve dollars an hour. Um, <laughs> Should be on an hourly rate. In fact, it's under a Maxwell and Williams China set. <laughs> the whole thing set. <laughs> that, he only gets one point one million dollars. Bit of a disparity. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> European Athletic Championships. Why was this French athlete stripped of his gold medal? He's got the yellow card. Uh, 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 no I, gold medal for you, I buddy. What did he do, Glenn? Did he take his top off when he was running uh, as he was running over the line? Glenn, it needs to be an answer, not a question. <laughs> yes, yes, sorry. He, he took his top off while he was <laughs> running <laughs> over the line. Let's have a look. <laughs> off comes the top, not just off, but in his mouth. Oh. But it was the... Uh, I think he gets an extra medal for that. You think, think so, wouldn't you? That's, that deserves that's some good. points. Uh, the girls did it, they'd get a medal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough sport. Let's get back to general news. Tell me, what are we looking at here? Oh. Michaela. The Wiggles Expendables. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bit militaristic. It's a colour themed. It's actually a, a, a sporting event of sorts. Sam, I think it's the uh, the tank biathlon. No, it is, is Sam. Twenty fourteen World oh. Tank Biathlon. The Wait, tanks I... have to do various challenges. Oh. Right. Yeah, they go like wow. they, they race and uh, shoot people. Yep. <laughs> the parents of this baby had an ingenious way of stopping her crying. Take a look. <laughs> what oh. did they come up oh. with? So they, gave, they gave her one of those dummies that were, you know, they're like a... <laughs> <laughs> it exercise. But it wasn't physical. Anyone, this was a bit of a, a YouTube hit. Take a look.
each of our contestants individually to the test. The segment is one on one, and we'll start with Glenn. Which of the following was not a Lauren Bacall movie? The Big Sleep, Key Largo, Dark Passage, The African Queen, Misery. I'm hearing voices from the other side, Tom. Um, <laughs> and Lauren is telling me Dark Passage. It's actually the African Queen. Oh, hello, Lauren, are you there? <laughs> Not so good. No, you got it wrong. Yeah. You were talking with Catherine Hepburn there, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Hate. Which of these things did Marinko Matosovic not do during the Cincinnati Masters? Kick at an on-court camera, refuse to shake hands with the umpire, throw a racket, spit, swear. Not do. Is one of those things he did not do after, I think it was his round one match, which he won, believe it or not. Two. <laughs> he refused to shake hands with the umpire, is that what you're thinking? I said two. You did that. <laughs> I was trying to help you there. Uh, it's like one of those menus when you don't want to say it, you just want the number. I know. That's right. You've taken the black bean sauce. Okay, it's um, Katie. No, I'm afraid it was in oh. fact throw a racket number three. Oh. Sam, which of these people have not visited Australia this week? John Kerry, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Andre Rieu, Gianluigi Buffon, and Peter Capaldi. Capaldi was here. He's Doctor Who. Kerry is. Uh, he. I saw him. Um, Backstage. <laughs> and so it's either two or three. Who I thought were the same person, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, I'll say. I'll say. Oh no, Andre Rio, he's here all the time, isn't he? <laughs> it's kind of a permanent fixture. Yeah, let's play on number two, please. The Archbishop of Canterbury? No, in fact, it was Andre Rio, oh, was the oh, only one. Oh, 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 sorry, oh, Sam. Oh, <laughs> Michaela. Which of these Nimbin attractions did not go up in flames? The Nimbin Museum, the Centrelink Office, the Rainbow Cafe, the Bringer Bong Cafe, or Tribal Magic? Big fire in the main street of Nimbin during the did week. Did not go up. No, one of them is still standing. <laughs> Bringer Bong Cafe. Um, I'm going with the, the theme here, which is number two, Centrelink Office. You'd be absolutely correct. Oh, no, Let's face it. I think Nimbin would grind to a halt without that. Well done, Michaela. <laughs> Santo. Yes, yes. Which of these activities has not been a date on The Bachelor? <laughs> Drive-in movies, camping, oh. ice skating, parasailing, aerobatic joy flight. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, Katie. Well, I, I saw them camping in one of the promos. Mm -hmm. I saw a campfire or something. Oh, yeah, in one of the promos. <laughs> <laughs> They've yeah. gone ice skating. Uh, parasailing seems like something they would do. Aerobat. I reckon drive-in movie, Tom. Uh, Tom. Have you done any of those you with your wife? Excuse me. <laughs> do you listen to my answers at all? Yeah. Earlier, I gave a 20-minute dissertation on what happened in The Bachelor when they went to the drive-in and shared Kate, a banana split. I've stopped listening to you now. <laughs> Kate, you did reference it earlier, but I'm afraid Santo was parasailing as well. Oh, parasailing. Okay, yeah. Did not do. All right. Hands back on buzzers. A couple of quick questions to the break. These people were all in Sydney for the Osmin Defence Talks. I'll give 10 points for each of their names. Oh. Katie. Oh, John Kerry. Done. Secretary, US Secretary of State. 10 That's points my for 10 you. points. Anyone else? <laughs> Michaela. Julie Bishop. Foreign Minister. Correct. 10 points. Sad man. I've got nothing. Uh, Groucho, Harpo and uh... <laughs> No points. I reckon, Tom, I reckon Seven. one of them is the US ambassador. Uh, no. No, OK. <laughs> it's, in fact, it's, um... But they did go parasailing at the end of that. <laughs> There's um, Peter Cosgrove. Is there? Sir Peter Cosgrove, oh, our oh, Governor yeah. General, absolutely, which just leaves uh, Secretary of Defence Chuck Hagel and Minister for Defence David Johnson. Oh, those guys. Well oh, done yeah. to oh, some of you. <laughs> Triple M has banned Kiss from being played on their stations. Why? Oh. Katie. Because of um, remarks that Gene Simmons made in the wake of Robin Williams' death Indeed. that were deemed insensitive. Katie <laughs> shall pay that. This teenage boy did what every day for seven years? Oh. Kate. Oh, Tom. No, please. We don't. <laughs> Anyone other than Kate got that? It's a sad. I hope it's not the same thing Glenn does every day. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't affect me. <laughs> I love them up. Anyway, Michaela, 
please. He took a selfie every day from when he was 12 to he was about to 19. Really? Yeah, it's You're amazing. Absolutely correct. It goes for a minute and you see him age. Well, let's incredible. have a let's have a look at how it uh, how it came out. Amazing. <laughs> Well done, son. well done. You know, can I just say, Glenn says that it didn't affect him, but he can't see you right now. <laughs> Over here, Glenn. Yeah, please, carry on with the telephone. <laughs> what sparked panic at this Italian beach resort? Oh. It's Ostia near Rome, Glenn. Boom, 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 If the musical answer's a two-metre blue shark? Oh, yes. that's the fucking jaws. <laughs> Glenn, you are quite correct, a shark. Take a look at this Russian petrol station. Listen carefully. It set off a devastating chain reaction with the flames spreading to a neighbouring... A neighbouring what? Uh, what could be worse than a petrol station on fire? Kate? Oh, I was going to say a petrol station. A neighbouring petrol station? <laughs> no, nice clue. I, it's got to be something that explodes. So an explosives factory or a munitions factory, a fireworks factory. <laughs> so, uh, let's have a listen. <laughs> to a neighbouring fireworks fest. Oh, right. Time for a break, stick around. Because up next, we enter the discomfort zone. Well done. Yeah. Okay, crockery down and hands on buzzers because it's time for Rapid Recall. Why is South Africa moving 500 rhinos out of Kruger National Park? Sam. From poachers, they're saving them from poachers. Sharks have been spotted eating what off the ocean floor? Oh, the Google cables. It's disrupting the internet. That's why Glenn's having such trouble down there. Anyway. <laughs> <Pardon. laughs> Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al Malikai has finally bowed to pressure and agreed to what? Kate. To stand aside. The World Health Organization has authorised the use of what experimental drug? Michaela. The Ebola, the um, ZMAP. ZMAP, indeed. It was a public holiday in Brisbane on Wednesday. What for? Kate. The ECA. People's Yay, Day for the Royal Brisbane. Queensland Show. Queensland is experiencing an epidemic of what? Glenn. <laughs> is it starfish? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, jelly, jellyfish. No, it's jellyfish. Jellyfish. No, it's back, no. Oh. Gotta go work our way through every disease. <laughs> Sam. You don't have to look so upset that I'm about to give the right answer to me. Sam. Oh, it's measles. It's swine flu. H1N. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Alright, celebrations. The Red Cross have been active in Australia for how many years? Michaela. Okay, 100 years. Henry. The daughter of what former New South Wales Premier is facing a murder charge? Ne Neville Nibble Ram. His daughter Harriet. Brazilian presidential candidate Eduardo Campos will not be part of the upcoming election. Why not? Sam. Dead. Yep. On the upside, he'll be doing a duet with Barbara Streisand. Swings around about Thank you, Sam. What happened to Telstra shares this week? Oh. No, they went up. They hit a 12-year high. Yes. Korea's only astronaut resigned this week. Why? I'm okay. scared of heights. We <laughs> <laughs> Katie. She found out there was no atmosphere there. OK, we'll stop there. <laughs> I think uh, no one's got it. Personal reasons is the answer. A survey has found that men prefer to do what before women? <laughs> Glenn. Shave. <laughs> it's have children. Mayhem. Oh, and that brings us to the show. And our winner is Michaela Dennis. Thank you to everyone for taking part tonight. To celebrate the return of the EPL, we'll leave you with a grab from UK TV Soccer Saturday, highlighting the need to pay attention, even if you're just a humble pitch side reporter. And we're off to Fratton Park where there's been a red card, but for who, Chris Kamara? I don't know, Jeff, has it? <laughs> I must have missed that. <laughs> a red card. A fair mistake. See you next week, Australia.